right on page 297 um, and 298 in chapter 11, there's a, a section called Common Core State Standards. Um, and the, it's the first set of standards to receive widespread attention that was published by the National Council for the Teaching of Mathematics um, in 1989. Then in 2009, the National Governors Association, the Council of Chief State School Officers, announced an initiative to develop one set of standards around which there would be widespread consensus. That means everybody would do the same thing. Uh, the first two curriculum areas to be addressed were English language arts and mathematics. Development of science standards has been underway, but has taken more time. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems like it's uh, been more difficult to get people uh, on the panel to agree um, and come up with a, a, a very uh, broad enough set of, uh, of common core standards for science. Uh, not everybody agrees in the science area what needs to be taught. There seems like there's a little confusion. What's important and, and what's most important versus least important. important. Development of science standards have been underway. There are two, uh, there are now known as the Common Core Standards. Uh, as of 2012, all but four states, Alaska, Nebraska, Texas, and Virginia had signed on to adopt these standards and implement them by 2014. Um, now we know that just recently there's been some states uh, getting out of the Common Core Initiative. Uh, they've decided to do something else. Um, also, the standards are learning-centered, not teacher-centered. Rather than describe what teachers should do in the design of instruction, which would be teaching-centered, the standards focus explicitly on the expectations for student learning. What will the students gain? What should they be doing at the end of this assignment? It's not about uh, me anymore and what I think students need to know. It's what's going to better the students. Um, the development of each set of Common Core has involved a broad range of experts, including teachers, scholars, and some policy makers. I do know we have had at least two teachers uh, serve on some, some, at some point on this Common Core initiative. Uh, in Hamlin County, two of the teachers have served. So um, that makes me feel a little bit better about it because if we only have representation from um, higher-end schools, that leaves the rural areas a little disadvantage, I feel like. Um, regardless of the grade level and subject you'll be teaching, there is an expectation of a shared responsibility of students' literacy and development. In other words, all teachers are expected to help their students learn to read and communicate. Um, and that's both oral and written communication. Um, and we do know that without reading, um, we can't, you can't be successful in any subject if you cannot read. So that is, that's part of the the point that that's such a big emphasis put in that area. If I can't read, I can't do a word problem in math. If I can't read, I can't uh, I can't follow through with a science experiment and follow the directions. So reading's at the core of everything. Um, there's also a section right there, uh, 298, page 298. The Common Core uh, have not been without debate. Uh, and it says, however, in the fall of 2011, President Obama tied receiving a waiver from the mandates of the 2002 No Child Left Behind to states implementing college and career ready standards. States had the, the option to develop their own standards, but the steps taken by most has, uh, but the step taken by most has been to adopt the Common Core. I guess the thought was, uh, why invent the wheel if someone else is already inventing it? We'll just use it. Um, now, I think that's where part of the states is coming in now and saying, this wheel's not fitting our car so well because we have another model. And, and there we go. Um, Common Core, I don't know how long it, it will last. Remember, I told you, we talked about already, the Common Core came about being because the state accepted that waiver when we did not hit our AYP and President Obama gave us that opportunity to accept the waiver and the state of Tennessee did amongst a lot of other states and thus we are now paying the piper as the old saying goes. I don't have a problem with Common Core. I actually like Common Core. I don't like all the things tied to Common Core, um, the evaluation piece that's connected to your paychecks and those kind of things I don't agree with but I actually like, I like that I am teaching fifth grade and certain standards of fifth grade and you may teach fifth grade at a different school in a different district but we would be teaching the same thing. I like that. I think that's a great thing. I think there should be standards that we're held accountable for and that students are held accountable for each grade. It's always, well, for the most part, education's always been um, 
uh, centered around certain standards that we expect students uh, to know. It's, it would be kind of like if we go out on for a vacation um, and we don't have a destination and we don't have a path in mind, we just get in the car and start driving. That's not a smart thing to do most of the time unless you, you know, you're just trying to see the world. You need to have a plan of action and that's what the standards do.